Welcome to another episode of Making Food with Kathleen. Today I'm going to be making mushroom risotto, except I don't have the typical arborio. Is that how you pronounce it? Arborio? 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 Arborio. Rice that they use in making risotto. So instead, I'm going to use jasmine rice because that's what I have on hand. What's the worst that can happen, right? I've gathered some of the ingredients that I need, some white mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. First step is to warm the chicken broth over low heat. Calls for six cups. So in typical me fashion, I just read through the, all the instructions and I realized I need like multiple pans. So I'm going to transfer this into a pot and then <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna move on to the next step to cook the, the mushrooms. I'm gonna cook this until it's softened. Looking more cooked. While this cooks a little bit more, I'm going to start on the next step, which involves a different pan. I'm going to add my onions, then add the rice, then stir in the wine. And then it says to add half a cup of the broth to the rice and stir until it's absorbed. And then continue doing this for about 15 to 20 minutes. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be using jasmine rice as an experiment because I don't have the other kind of rice that I cannot pronounce. This recipe calls for one and a half cups of this. So I'm going to add this into my pan. Okay, so my rice has been in here for about two minutes and I'm going to add in my dry wine and ask for half a cup. Ooh! So I need to stir this until the wine is completely absorbed. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you know how usually risotto is a little bit more stickier and starchier. Since I'm using jasmine, in order to preserve some of that starchiness, I didn't wash the rice. The wine has been absorbed and now begins the cycle of adding some of the broth to the risotto and the stirring until it's absorbed. First spoonful of broth. I gotta stir until it's absorbed. So this is gonna be a very laborious process. I thought I could just, you know, plop that in there, let it simmer and then call it a day, but no, no, no. That is not what's happening. I'm gonna keep doing this process for the next 15, 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start grating some cheese that I'm gonna add at the end. Look at how gooey that looks. We are in the final stretch. I'm gonna turn off the heat. Then I'm gonna stir in the butter, the chives. I'm gonna stir in everything now. Mix this all together. I'll add some uh, salt and pepper. I'm gonna plate it and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in better lighting. Here is mushroom risotto. It looks amazing. Shall we try? Yes. Thank you for all the hard work you put into this dish. I know there were several trials and obstacles along the way, but you overcame. I'm very happy with the results here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!